Hello everybody, back again with another episode. So today I'm going to transfer all my data from Hawaii P20 to Samsung and 20 FE. So you start this, you have to connect both of the phone onto the same network and on both phone you have to go and download the app called Smart Switch. You have to do that on both of the phones. So I'll go ahead and install in here and in Hawaii, I'm going to do the same thing. Smart switch. It will take a couple of seconds to download and install. Let's just wait for a couple of minutes. So the app is downloaded on both of the phones. So let's go ahead and open the app and begin the process. So go ahead and continue, continue. So it's just asking for permission to access. That's fine. Go ahead and continue. Allow, 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 allow. So it can actually transfer the data. So now it's asking for transferring the data. I'm going to go ahead and set up the same thing on my Samsung phone. So here it's asking transfer receive i'm going to be receiving the data from my hawaii p20 receiving data and here let's go and i'll be doing the wireless transfer i'm gonna go ahead and click to the wi-fi and it will start scanning on the samsung phone i'm gonna go ahead and pick galaxy wireless so in both phones it will start scanning so here it says connect to galaxy s20 fe i'm gonna go ahead and connect now it has started transferring the data I'll just wait a couple of minutes it might take some time so it's saying everything 38.12 gigabyte roughly gonna take 24 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and select next so I cannot transfer the whatsapp data so I'm gonna go ahead and back up that later on to my Hawaii and then download the whatsapp on this phone so it has begun the process to transfer from my Hawaii to my Samsung S20 FE Let's just wait for 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this video. So I have to start this video. Just something to notice, since it's 18% now, and the time increases to one hour, 32 minutes. Just to keep in mind, in the beginning, it was telling me half an hour, around 24 minutes, but during the process, time keep getting increased. Just something to keep in mind, and just to make sure both of the phones are properly charged since i had lots of pictures and videos it's it took me hour and a half to transfer all the data and it's still 16 minutes to go so the transfer is almost done it's at 98 percent perfect sounds good so i'm gonna go ahead and go to my home screen and here I'm gonna say done. So all the data transfer has been completed. I'm gonna go ahead and see if the data is transferred or no. Let's open the gallery and I can see all the pictures have been transferred to my new phone. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or concern, please leave your comment in the comment section below. Thank you.